Hello and welcome back one and all and I am here today with yet another top 10 video and today I am doing the top 10 codes and secret shops in Adventure Quest. Well, so these are the main easy ones that the majority of people can join to and the majority are free for all players if not all of them. So the first one that didn't make it into the video sadly was Join Gluttony and this is of course this lovely Sneevel here called Fesus and he basically has some little house items for you. So cracking on, number 10 is Wishbone. This is of course one of the codes you can use at Join Museum and that is with Valencia over here. Now the vast majority of these codes I imagine you will all know about because they very rarely add new ones in nowadays but I thought it was about time I put them in my particular favourite order and I will explain why I put each of them there. This one's pretty much because it's plain and simple and I don't really like the turkey head, not much compared to the badger. So number 9 is Hakuna Katana. Now this one has made the number 9 spot purely because it has quite a good ring to its name. It sadly is a pretty poor looking katana in my opinion, especially as it's not even a dagger, so it doesn't make it too attractive. In number 8 is 13-1. This one is in the top spot purely because it is a badger on your head sort of thing. I quite enjoy this helmet. It's one of my favourite ones of the codes. It's one of the original ones and that's why it is there. At number 7 is Oiku812 and this code gives you something slightly different in a weird way. It's just another plain and simple sword really. That's about all you get with it which which is pretty cool. Next up you've got the Mega Calm Blade 321 which is sort of a replacement for the original item that they had in here but now you have got this ever lovely sort of quite fat sword which actually considering it's a code item I think it's it's all right it's all right at number five we have to join to DVG and this is MCW rules now this may not be the most attractive weapon in the world but is purely at number five because AE decided to change it up a little bit and it gave us a bit more variety instead of just going to the museum so for the sake of having to go somewhere else for a code that is why it has reached that spot. At number four is Join Mudluck. You click on this little broom mushroom and it gives you a nice little shop. This is the first time AE really tried anything quite like this, adding in secret things when Arkham Grove first came out. At number three is Join Dark Vogia Horde. This is where you get the dual chainsaw katanas I'm using at the minute. You have to kill a hundred of these enemy zombies and then you unlock a character page badge and you can get the shop through there. So at number two is one of my all-time favourites at the Hyperium, which is of course J6's secret shop where you click the dials in a particular order and then ping, there's a nice little robot guy for you to talk to and loads of stuff. This is by far one of the coolest things they added into Adventure Quest and that is why it is up at number two. So taking the top spot for this video is Tinsel's secret shops. They are scattered throughout the Northlands and they are by far one of my favourite things in the game. I really do wish AE would add in more things like this where you cannot see where you're going on the map and you just have to stumble across them either by accident or by actually going out and hunting for them as they are literally hidden away in four different locations which I'm going to show you them all here. I imagine the vast majority of you would have been there already but for the fair few that haven't here are all the locations for you scattered throughout the Northlands. So guys thank you very much for watching as always don't forget to leave a like and subscribe I'll see you all again soon there'll be another top 10 video coming out but the next one of course will be the weekly release on Friday. Until then take it easy have a lovely day and I'll see you all again in the next video.